Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create these abstract crystals in Blender using geometry nodes. You can also get the file for a dollar via the link in the description if you like. So let's get started. First let's delete everything and add a plane. Now let's go to the geometry nodes workspace and press new. Now let's add a cube and subdivide it three times and now let's apply the subdivision modifier add a displace modifier and press new click on this icon here and set it to clouds set the size to 2 and now add an empty plane axis now go back to the cube and to the modifier set the coordinates to object and select the empty and as you can see now if we move rotate or scale the empty the modifier will move along with it now let's go back to the plane and by the way if you want this timer here you can just go up here and check timing now let's drag the cube in here and connect the geometry to the geometry. Now let's add a transform node, put it here, and now let's add an extrude mesh node. Set it to vertices, duplicate it, and set it to edges this time, and now duplicate these two and simply connect them like this and duplicate them again both of them like this now let's line them up so it looks tidier like this. Now let's add a noise texture and put it here. Connect it to the offset scale of every one of these nodes. The factor I mean. Now set the noise texture to 4D and under W type in hash frame divided by 1000. And now this is going to give us this. Now add a random value node. Put it here and connect it to the scale. Set the max for this one to 10. Now let's add a set material node and a joint geometry node. Put it here. Now I'm going to select all the nodes that I want to duplicate. So Shift D, duplicate them. And I'm going to duplicate them three times, but you can of course duplicate them as often as you like. Just be careful with the with the RAM usage. By the way, if you want this data to be displayed here, just right click here and enable it. Now let's drag the cube down here and connect it to all of the the transform nodes and now get these done here as well and connect them to the joint geometry node like this 
Now let's go to the material properties and create four new materials. And now set them here in the set material. Now I'm going to make this to a group input, but I'm going to speed up the process. So I just started recording again and realized that I didn't turn on the audio for the microphone. So I'm going to tell you now that since we added the noise texture and added the hashtag frame here, divided by 1000, by 100, doesn't matter. Now we have this animation here. But if we duplicate the noise texture, it will just stay at the value that it was at when we duplicated it. So I had to type this in again for all of the layers. I named them layers. I mean for all of the noise textures that I connected to the, the droop input. So now that that's all done, let's go to bush shading. I'm going to use cycles. I'm going to go to the render properties and under film select transparent and under the output properties set it from PNG to JPEG but you don't have to change this of course it's just that JPEG is a smaller file format that's why I, I like it. Now let's go to the world properties and select sky texture I'm going to set the air dust in the zone to 1.545. Now let's select the plane. And doesn't matter which material that you have selected, I'm going to select the first one. Remove the principal BSTF and add a glass shader. Connect it to the surface and set the color to anything that you like. I'm going to choose blue and now do the same for the rest of the materials. For this one I'm going to choose red and for this one I think I'm gonna choose green. I think this looks good. And now for the last one, I am going to choose. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'm going to choose yellow. Now let's go back to layout mode and set up the camera. Go into front view and I'm going to go over here, Shift A, add a camera, Control Alt 0 to go into a camera view, and G, set, set, to move it like this. And now I'm going to duplicate the cube, and as you can see, it will change the shape, which is what I want. And now I'm going to duplicate the plane. Make sure that the duplicated plane is selected. Now let's go to geometry nodes and click here on this paper icon. And for the object, select the cube. One of now go into camera view and move it over like this. By the way, we are going to hide the cube in the rendered view both of them. If you don't have this icon right here, just click here and then click on this. I'm also going to hide the cubes here now in the viewport. 
Now let's add another empty. Go into top view, move it here, back into camera view. And now let's go to rendered view, select the camera and check depth of field. Select empty 001. Now set the f-stop to something that you like. I think I'm going to go with 0.5 maybe. Let's position it again. I think this looks good. Now select the camera again and set the blades to 16. So now we are ready to render. I'm not going to do that now, of course, because I already rendered a similar animation, the one that you saw in the beginning. But I'm going to show you what I did to render it. I selected an output folder and then I rendered it into separate images. For the render settings, I used max samples of 128 and Enable denoise. By the way, use optics if you have a NVIDIA GPU. I think it gives better results. And for the compositing, I have enabled use nodes. And if you want these options here, you are going to have to enable denoising data and just add a denoising node. Then, once it's rendered, you can go up here, video editing, video editing, and then if you open this tab here, you are going to see the file location here. Simply hover over it and press Ctrl C, then Shift A here, image sequence, and then you're going to have the file name here if you paste it in. But you need to remove the file name here because otherwise it won't find the folder. Then, if you have looked at it, the images, press A and simply add image strip. The way before you add the images, you need to make sure that you are on frame 1. Then go up here again, on the file format, set it to FFmpeg video, encoding container, set it to MPEG 4, output quality to high quality, and you can change the name or not, that doesn't really matter. So that's it with the tutorial, I hope you liked it, if you did please press like, if you didn't press dislike, and I'll see you next time.